I know a way of getting money that they know nothing about. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost today. is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this is not your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. I worship you, Holy Ghost. I worship you, Holy Ghost. I worship you, Holy Ghost. Tonight, I'm going to attempt to speak from this room that you enter into through worshiping the Holy Ghost as God like I just did it's a place you enter into a place that you weren't before and a place that affords you many things that you before had no access to and if you stay in here you will come to know him the Holy Ghost as the true and living God the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and you will come to listen you will come to know him as a God of wealth now that's gonna sound a really different to your religious ear because that's not what we've been told about him but we didn't know him like we're knowing him in this day and in this age and we didn't know him in this room as one that we worship are you here in this room you begin to see him as he is say see him as he is rich he is rich and therefore that's what he makes you rich is what he is and that's what he makes you unless unless you have some religious help to keep you out of it and we've had a lot of religious help but there is power to get wealth in this room did you hear that there is power to get wealth in this room it is part of his glory Ephesians 3 20 now unto him that is able to do who is the one that is able to do anything in the earth but the Holy Ghost who is God the only part of the Godhead in the earth today now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us the Holy Ghost is the one who gives the power he's not the power he gives the power and he's able to work exceedingly abundantly above all exceedingly what does exceedingly mean it means it exceeds something else it takes you beyond it exceeds where you're at exponential growth it doesn't take very long for him to consume all things in your life when you worship him in this room and whatever you were thinking this is ten times greater he takes you ten times greater into all things the exponent is not you multiplied by yourself it's you multiplied by him in this room and that takes you exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or think and when you're in this room it doesn't take very long for you to be multiplied way beyond what you could ask or what you could think because you begin thinking his thoughts you begin speaking his words you begin partaking of his glory in all things prosperity is not well-being it's not good health it's not overall happiness it's not overall joy or peace 
it's not a good family life this generalized religious view of prosperity is killing your real prosperity prosperity is financial listen prosperity is not physical healing prosperity is not mental well-being prosperity is not friends you see all of these things are provided for in other verses of scripture listed as other things other promises of god in great detail cover these other aspects of life that is not prosperity prosperity is financial financial well-being having more than more than enough in the financial realm do you want to get at the root of the devil's kingdom listen to me don't get religious on me he doesn't care whether you get saved or not he doesn't care whether you get healed or not he doesn't like it but he does care if you get your hands on some money first timothy chapter 6 and verse 10 for the love of money is the root of all evil have you heard this before the love of money is the root of all evil what is the root if you can take all evil and then we dig down to the root the word says the love of money is the root of all evil so if it's evil and it exists you can trace back to its roots here the love of money oh prosperity doesn't just mean money religious preachers like to interject that into there to take your eyes off what the root of the devil's evil is because you are about ready to destroy his kingdom you pull that plug and his whole kingdom crumbles he wants you thinking that prosperity is a good family life prosperity is happiness prosperity is joy you want it some other way and that's fine with him i know a way of getting money and wealth that they know nothing about god gives me power to get wealth most are so religiously brainwashed that they can't even hear that that god gives them power to get wealth that god gives them power to get wealth the first brainwashing that still exists in the church when i quote that verse the love of money is the root of all evil how do they quote it back they say money is the root of all evil right just pops up money is the root of all evil and some that know their bible a little better might correct them and say no it's the love of money that's the root of all evil but it's still what they believe the lie has been sold for so long it's embedded into them and even those who start to bring up prosperity and talk about prosperity bible prosperity they'll automatically and quickly interject that prosperity is a lot more than just financial prosperity it's it's a good family life it's happiness it's a well-rounded thing it's to get people off the fact that prosperity is financial deuteronomy 8 18 thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he the lord thy god that gives thee power to get wealth that's either true or it's not you decide whether he does it for you or not thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he that gives thee power to get well what are we remembering him for for it is 
he that gives me power to get wealth remembering him in this way glorifies him I'm remembering that it is the Lord my God and that he gives me power to get evil if wealth were evil he wouldn't be giving you power to get it in this room of worshiping the Holy Ghost he gives you power his power to get wealth and it's not evil get that through your thick skull say it wealth is not evil if you being rich were evil he wouldn't be giving you power to get it that frankly would make him evil but you having money is not evil why is this so difficult to get across to people you having money is literally the root of the devil's dilemma and he's got issues with you especially when you have money I would argue that you not having money is evil listen to me you not having money is evil not being able to pay your bills is evil not having enough to do everything that you are required to do or want to do is evil it doesn't come from God I've been on both sides of that and I can tell you the one side is evil and the other side is being blessed and when you have no money or not enough money to pay a bill or do something that God's calling you to do what happens you start praying for deliverance you start believing God and praying for money to come in when the money comes in was that evil of course not but you're praying to get rid of the evil and the evil was not having money not having a good family life not having some joy and peace not having a good healthy body and a healthy glow and a healthy complexion none of that's financial and what you needed was a financial answer <sighs> so you end up praying for deliverance and the answer comes in the form of money a financial answer say a financial answer having more than enough in all of those situations is a blessing abundance is of God get it straight this is better abundance is better Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 what am I reading out of the Bible the blessing of the Lord it makes rich I'm telling you when you're in the room of Holy Ghost worship I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost he can't but bless you the blessing makes you something makes you rich and adds no sorrow with it rich means you're exceeding the problem you've exceeded beyond your need and want exceeding abundance means you have more than more than enough for everything all the time say it I have more than more than enough for everything all the time where did that come from it came from the blessing of the Lord making you rich Abraham way back in Genesis said I lifted my hand to the Most High because he has blessed me he has made me rich no man made me rich God made me rich 
the blessing of the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today is exponential ten times as rich as you thought you could ever be not having money can be traced back to the root of so many of those same problems not having money is the root of many family problems are you here you still mad at me being in poor health traced back to lack of money not having peace because you're stressed out all the time not having money so many of these things could be traced back to the root of not having money but God gives me power to get wealth that's his answer for so many problems and the root of so many problems are you getting this I have become Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord making me rich and adding no sorrow with it I have become first Timothy 6 17 the Living God gives me richly all things to enjoy wealth and riches shall be in my house who said these verses of Scripture the Holy Ghost when we say them we enter into them I am not ashamed of the gospel that brought me here and I am not ashamed of the wealth that comes from knowing him in this room and worshiping him the living God the Holy Ghost God in the earth today I worship you Holy Ghost I thank you for these people that they've been changed and they've come up to a new level of understanding and that understanding shall take them to greater and greater places where ten times what they ever thought they could have or be or do shall just present itself to them as they walk with you the Living God we thank you Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost you are a God of wealth I worship you and I walk with you Ghost, in this world in the day. earth in my day and when we're Holy done Ghost, we shall God end up owning it all in Jesus name the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth